All right, greetings, family. But money time, I right here. We're live on Revolutionary Cam. And family, I'm in the beautiful Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm with my good brother here from Easy Shuttle. Is it is the name? Let me make sure I got it right. Table Hall. And that is your legal name. That's my legal name. Hey, I love it, man. I love creativity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, to all, and to all parents out there, you shouldn't name your kids John, James, and Jim. Uh, you just, you just get creative. But family, uh, let me just give you a view of us on the highway. And we're on our way to downtown Johannesburg to the Protea Parktonian All Suite Hotel. This is a beautiful high rise and just give us a good access to just enjoy the beauty of Johannesburg. And then we're going to go out for some nice, beautiful dinner later on. But family, it's uh, myself and it's only six of us. And the other seven is on the next flight in from Amsterdam. So this is my good brother here. Hey! Representing. Representing Morehouse College. Representing. Exactly. We're in, a, we're in the JSA, the Johannesburg, South Africa. We call it the JSA. Pushing it. I'm videotaping for all of you all at Morehouse. So y'all can come on Africa for the Africans. The next trip to Johannesburg, Cape Town, South Africa. Omani is an excellent organizer. He can make your trip your paradise. I say. Absolutely. And my sister right here with the, the beautiful revolutionary energy. Remember us, Ghana, Togo, Benin, the long journey? Greetings. <laughs> and blessings, family. And we need greetings from Harlem and Delaware. That's what's up. And the diaspora of America. I feel that all family members should come to Africa. We would have a different aspect of life. We would have more pride and dignity in how you carry yourself. And you will know that this is the support of the only people. That's the only way we are going to survive. It's perfect. Uh, so, what you been up to since the last we saw you? It's like literally two years ago. Retired. I just, that's what I did. I retired. So, this is my retirement trip. Oh. And this is 2019. 400 years we have been stolen from this continent. And we need to return and bring our education, our nurses, our engineers, all of those people are needed on our own continent. Absolutely appreciate the energy. We're gonna get a lot more from you when we're going around the country and everything. Yes, and I got two smiling faces back there. <laughs> I'm probably have to get them uh, later because uh, I'm all the way in the front, they're all in the back. <laughs> and our uh, family, um, uh, Teresa, Elizabeth, and Irvin have been on journey, journey with me before. This is Irvin third journey, and Teresa and Elizabeth second, and Warren first. So, you know, and then the other folks that we got coming in uh, later on tonight, uh, they have also traveled with us. So most of the people in the group have traveled with us in the past. Uh, so I appreciate everyone for, for taking the journey, journey out and coming to join us in South Africa. I know this is not Ghana, uh, you know, it's a little different, uh, but uh, you know, we, we treat every African experience just with the most energy and, and you know, each country is different, so we look to share more. So Elizabeth and Urban, uh, you want to uh, share anything? Well, I'd just like to say this is my third trip traveling with Obani, Obani, and I'm telling you, So Elizabeth, you all smiles. <laughs> <laughs>
appreciate the energy uh, a little bit, and we're gonna get a lot more from you, family. Just want to just uh, share a little nice little clip with you while we roll into the, the hotel and everything. So yes, and yes, uh, family. And what you're looking at is only six of us. And then you're like, well, money where's the 30, 40 people? Yeah, we do have seven more coming, so it's 13. Yeah, but next bro. year, November yeah. family, if you want to join, oh, you can yes. just reach out. We got to do things ahead of time. The reason why seven people are are coming from Amsterdam is because, you know, we, everybody everybody was on a flight. You seen all the, the, the folks that was on the flight. <laughs> they don't play around. There was other groups. They go, they, the first day of the ticket kind of opened, they go buy all the tickets up. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody beat me to the punch and I realized who it was. That's what happened. Yes, that's what happened. So. So uh, what are we gonna do this time around, since a lot of people pay their deposits already, we're gonna lock down about 30 to 40 tickets right away, day one. Yeah. As soon as I get back, and uh, we're gonna have everybody on the same flight coming to Johannesburg uh, next year. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, you, you guys uh, appreciate uh, the early commitment because as soon as you drop your money, I just lock tickets down. So we are good. So family, yes, yes, yes. And it is... 5.45 and our driver is just cruising and uh, me and him is going to be back up here later to get the rest of our brothers and sisters and then tomorrow morning we start off nice tomorrow morning we're gonna we're gonna we, we have the time set up for eight o'clock but tomorrow morning the tour company is going to be here at 10 o'clock because they're going to end up having they're going to do dinner at their home with us later on tomorrow so we're gonna have a good time to network talk about business talk about many things because uh, uh, the person that's hosting me is my, one of my good brothers from Atlanta that moved down here several years ago and run a, run a business enterprise tour company okay. yeah so we're gonna do a lot of networking yeah so it's perfect up your alley uh, uh, that, uh, Warren. is that my man what's the name is coming Z here with a Z is that him because a friend of mine she heard my, my lady friend had a friend recommended this guy uh, uh, see, yeah, we don't have any more to see. But nevertheless, look forward to networking everyone. This brother. Denny. Denny. Good guy. Sure. Oh, no, not sure who that is. Oh, okay. But, um... No, he good. He, they say he, he's... She said he, he's done... He's, he takes a lot of African American around. Oh, that's perfect. You know me, I'm always trying to get a lot of contacts and networks. Right. Because what we do is, um, a lot of times, you just, you know, you're making arrangements for people. So sometimes, you know, you need additional, you know, staff and people who are available. Yeah. yeah. So, it's so a perfect yeah, deal. So, far, yeah. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, man, once yeah. I get... Oh, sit down on this. I'm gonna lock his number down on my phone. Okay. And then, give him a call and then talk this, to you know, him. Yeah, give, give him a ring before, yeah, that's uh, between friend. today and tomorrow. I think maybe her friend's cousin or father or something. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, family, that's what we do, man. We do a lot of networking, and I just really want to show you just a little bit of this beautiful, beautiful country, and you know we're still in Johannesburg, so I get to show you Cape Town in a few days. But one of the things that people always talk about is just the beautiful infrastructure in South Africa. So family finally made it with a nice bigger group. The first group I actually took to Africa family was in November 2005. Literally the first group of people I've taken, which which a group you know you consider at least like three or four, three or more people. But the uh, literary family, it was five of us. The first time I came here, and you know, just beautiful experience. Uh, that time we only did the Johannesburg in November 2005, but when I came in May 2005, a few months earlier, I was able to go to Cape Town, which was the last time I've been to Cape Town. So we're gonna be showing you all that beauty, and you know, we just have number of documentation to share with you. And later on, family, I'll give you a nicer introduction so you can see me in the flesh. See family's not book bags back there, so you know it's a small little group of us on this, on this ride. Make sure you bring everything that you need. Another thing.
thing too, as you can see, we are driving on the left side and, and you can see our driver is facing the right side. So complete opposite from what we used to hear on the East Coast, or just in the U.S. in general. The thing I love the most about the African continent is just, when you talk about green and nature, you know, this greenery, beauty, nature, parks, rivers, lakes. I mean, this is, you know, the continent of Africa is the most incredible. Body of land. As you can see, also another thing we haven't talked about is a lot of mountains, you know, not hills, mountains. 